Cheers. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> so uh, I have a question for you. If you had, if you were running a city that had 510 murders in it, what would be your very first thing to do to fix it? Hire more cops. Eliminate cash mail. Bing! All right, that's what we're going to talk about today. The Illinois Safety Act, um, which is basically their response to their enormous rise in crime, which is by eliminating cash bail, because they think that's a really this, good idea. Uh, Illinois Purge Act? Yeah, that's what they call it. They're calling it the purge. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? And I did not know what they were talking about. And then I, I kind of did some research. And they're calling it the purge act because they're, they're just, honestly, they're setting up Illinois to be a Mad Max Thunderdome, the whole yeah, state. They really are. It is a little more truth in advertising to call this the, the purge act than calling... Florida's parental rights bill, don't take it. Right, right. Okay, Obviously, it doesn't say purge act in it, but right. I think it. I think it's a right. good point that you. It's, they're trying to. They're trying to frame the the bill or the act, the law, to make it seem different than what it is. Right. The law. The law. So. Oh yeah. yeah it's, so, it's the Chicago Bears. Bears. So um, <laughs> obviously. My team. Sorry. Yeah. Obviously, Illinois. Aren't, aren't they wanting to move out of Chicago because of safety concerns? Yep. Yeah. Out of the out of the centralized part of the city. Right. Out of, yeah. Yeah. Hey, even the uh, uh, CEO of McDonald's, mm -hmm. she at a press conference said, "Yeah, I can't convince people to move to Chicago to be an executive in that area. Right. It's much harder to find people who are willing to move to Chicago. It was safer when freaking Al Capone." Right. Was there. Yeah. You know, I mean, it, it's it's unbelievable. It's a damn shame because it's such a beautiful city on the water and everything. Right. It's absolutely beautiful. I, I, I was there. My dad was a uh, Marine Corps recruiter right. when I was very young in Chicago. I don't really remember it. So, um, But let's let's do some. Uh, I, before we go into the act, I'm going to just talk about a little bit. I'm going to nerd it out a little bit here with some statistics. You nerd it out? Wow. Yeah, right? Who would have thunk, <laughs> no. thunk it? So just Chicago. Not Illinois, just Chicago. 2021 ended with 797 murders. Holy <laughs> just one city. That's Holy murders, not shootings. That's murders. Right. Yeah. Uh, that's oh. 25 more than 2020, 299 more than two, uh, 2019. Do you know where Orlando compares by chance? Oh, uh, what, what, 20, 50, something like that? Yeah. I don't know. It, yeah. Not not many. That's LA. The Detroit in the 70s. Right. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. Miami Winter, Miami in the 80s. Or Winter Park when a certain lieutenant that worked for us worked there. <laughs> yeah. he, you'd think he had, you know, a murder every day. Yeah. So yeah. 2000, 2021 <laughs> ended with... More murders than since 1996, so it keeps going up. And there were, you asked about shootings, 3,561 shootings in 2021. Holy cow. That's that bigger. Almost that, one, that's almost 10 a day. Yeah. Wow. That's more than some cities. <laughs> Holy, <laughs> Holy shit. Um, so, uh, Let's see, it's a staggering 1,400 more shootings than in 2019. Okay, so we're going on a rise. Um, year to date, shot and killed 462. Shot and wounded 2,140. Year to date, year's not over. Here's the wonder dog going out. So, Sorry. so as of September 15th, there were there's been 2140 shootings in Chicago. Jeez, Total shot and I am not sure why there's a difference. It's 2602 and then total homicides 510. A person in Chicago is shot every 2 hours. A person in Chicago is murdered every 12 hours. That's two a day and or holy cow. <laughs> now Chicago or Illinois is not just Chicago because, because, really, uh, because, because there's also uh, 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 uh. East St. Louis. 
Yeah. Which is actually yeah. worse. It is. Because if, if you look at if you look at crime rate and crime rate is calculated not by amount of shootings, it's amount per hundred thousand. So if you look at the murders and the crime rate in uh, East St. Louis, Illinois, um, East St. Louis, Illinois is the sixth percentile for safety, meaning ninety four percent of other cities are safer. Um, the rate in East St. Louis is eighty four per thousand residents uh yeah just pull it up on our screen so we can see it right there it, it's shown in 2021 murder rate is 69.4 and 20 in st. st louis missouri yeah that's what i'm saying st yeah. louis missouri well, well he's talking about east, east st louis chicago or illinois, illinois which is even worse oh, gotcha. yeah um your chance of being a victim of a crime in east st louis illinois is one in four 25 percent 25 percent so if we oh, Cooper's in here, so if we one of us is going to be a victim of a crime, yeah, oh, or oh. and that's just or, two cities. Or if you're a family of four, yeah, husband, wife, two kids, right? One of them is going to be a victim of crime. Yeah, yeah. So and that's just two cities. That's not right. counting the whole state. Right. And I'm sure there's other. Horrible states and or cities in in the area. Hopefully not too many more. Jeez. Okay, so um, we get that. You know what? Why don't we kind of slide into the? Oh, so after nerding it out, now you want to drink a beer? Yeah. <laughs> Let's do a beer moment. Yes. Let's drink a beer. What do we got today, there, Ronnie? You know what? Nerding it out and I statistics know, and numbers make me thirsty. Yes, but we have Carbach <laughs> Brewing Company. A Love Street Blonde. Ooh. Everybody love loves Street. a blonde. A Love Street Blonde. Rude <laughs> <laughs> oh, in Texas, so it should have been bigger. Whoa. whoa I love that sound. Oh, my God. It's the greatest sound in the world. Look at that blonde. Ooh. I can't. I can't. Uh, can you guys wolf whistle? There we go. <laughs> no, that no, that no, is golden. a beautiful blonde. That right there. That's pretty sexy. <laughs> that's I damn know, sexy. I say, that, that's a pretty sexy mm -hmm. blonde. I must mm. say. Holy crap, that's a sexy blonde. Oh. What kind of beer is it? It is Carbach. I don't know what a Carbach is. Carbox oh, brewing company. That's, oh, so it's a blonde. It's it's a blonde. blonde. It's a okay, so blonde. that's it's, blonde, it's yeah. like a like a um like a either a, a pilsner or an yeah, ale. Yeah. So I'm gonna give that a, an eight point seven five. That's really really good. I'm enjoying that a lot. We have dogs in the other room. As you can't tell. Yeah, if you don't like it, lump it. Yeah, well you know that's, that's why it's going to my house. <laughs> it's got a good flavor. I'm gonna give it a, a seven point five. Okay, nice, nice high scores. Yeah, it's, it's. I don't know. It's, it's good. good. I like it, but it, I don't know. It, it, it kind of lacks something. It's just, I don't know. It's got a beer taste, but it just doesn't lack any. Me? Doesn't have any body or any like real like flavor. I guess because I like a dark, a little bit darker mm -hmm. beer, like a lager or whatever. Yeah. I guess that's yeah. why. But I, I'll give it a seven. That's fine. Yeah, I, I mean, there is. We all know that. It's like you would never drink a a Guinness if you're out doing yard work. Yeah, there are good. times yeah. for different drinks. So to yeah. me, it tastes it's like a, a Miller Lite. Yeah, yeah. no, know, it's, it's not like, anything it's special, not even, yeah. but I'm I'm going it on its flavor. I think it's a good yeah. beer. Okay, so. cool. All right, all right. So John, who brought us these beers? Uh, these were brought to us by Kenny's Grocery, located at 1792 and French Avenue in Orange City. Okay. Beautiful downtown Orange City. Beautiful downtown Orange City. What do you think their murder rate is Orange in City? Orange City? 0. 0. <laughs> 0.00000 the last five years. <laughs> you know, it was weird. Um, your dad, because your dad was my, my uh, uh, training sergeant, and he was stabbed in Orange City. Yeah. And then wasn't he either shot at or stabbed in, uh, in Lake Helen also? Two of the smallest cities in Volusia County. 
And yeah. he, he <laughs> yeah. but back then, I mean, you were the, the wild west. You were the sheriff, the constable, the cop. You were all by yourself, and your nearest backup was you know ten, fifteen minutes away, if yeah. that. Yeah, from Deland probably. He was going every call by himself, and you know people get drunk and do crazy yeah. shit. Well, and this it, is your dad, and this had to be like what wider times at least seventies. Right? Eighteen seventies. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. We got comments below that we were supposed to stop yeah. with the old jokes. They shit all over me again, guys. They shit all over me again. Please comment below if you're tired of hearing them. Comment, you know, and, and or, or, or if you want more. If you're tired of him whining about us. Yeah. Oh, I've done it one time now twice. Shit at me. All right, you want so a anyway. ambulance? Back to all right. Back so to my home state where I was born. So so uh, <laughs> we we talked about this a little bit in the last episode. How do we fix this problem? And and in in the eighties with crack cocaine and the gang wars in in New York, <clears throat> Rudy Giuliani, which like him, don't like him, whatever. He was an amazing mayor of New York City. He was because he implemented what was called the broken window theory. Um, it's you. You go after every single crime. There's no. We're, we're not going to ignore shit. We're going and and then it it has a ripple effect. Yeah. And it brought the murder rate down. They he was he he told his officers, listen, the squeegee guys, they're jaywalking, run them in, and the murder rate just by handling the but, small stuff. But you don't have to run them in. The biggest thing was you run these people. Right. Oh, and, and you pat them down. Terry versus Ohio. You find guns. Contact. Yeah, you right. do your freaking job. Absolutely. Right. You enforce minor laws. And I'm going to back and your ass up. And yep. then you find major criminals. Mm -hmm. Because <clears throat> if I'm willing to jump a turnstile, I'm probably willing to kill someone. Right. Yeah. Or, or vice versa. Yeah. You know, but, but right, you know, I think that's it's right. better said the other way around. Right. Yeah. If I'm willing to, if I'm wow. willing to kill someone, <laughs> I'm willing to jump a turnstile. I'm willing to. So, so that was your turn to say I was wrong. John, you're wrong. <laughs> Not all turnstile jumpers are murderers, <laughs> but all murderers are willing to jump a turnstile. Yeah, or or jaywalk or right. litter. What was the mo one of the most famous serial murderers in the entire country? Caught. With freaking a equipment malfunction and his car. Ted Bundy. Ted Bundy. Yeah. I mean, broken tail light or something. Broken tail light yeah. on his VW. Yep. I mean, if if we stop doing that, yep. those type of crimes will never be solved. The largest. Or it'll take a lot longer. The largest manhunt in FBI history was Eric Rudolph. He was yes. the Olympic Park bomber. He bombed abortion clinics, and. They caught him because he was going through a trash, trying to find food, and the officer came around the building, checked out with a suspicious person. Vagrancy. You know, Doing his job. Absolutely. Shaking the bush. So, but no. Well, wait. You said doing their job. Right. But they can't do their job. Right. We don't want to make any enemies. We yeah. Don't, we don't want to upset the public. Yeah. They yeah. can't do that. No. You well, can't if a guy's walking through a freaking neighborhood at 3 a.m., and he's wearing all dark clothing, and he's freaking gawking at houses and cars when he goes by. Being furtive. There's no reason to just stop and say, hey, man, what's up? What's what up? How's it going? 3 a.m. And you don't have to stop them. You, you let them know. I can drive alongside of them while they're In walking. A consensual encounter. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. So, it's ridiculous. Illinois decides, you know what? We're going to... Fuck that. Fuck that. that we're going to do something... 100% 80 degree difference. And they came up with what's called the Illinois Safety Act. I don't know. And, and it's 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 like the Deficit Reduction Act. It's a right complete now. farce. It's farcical. And I was watching a... Is uh, word? Farcical? Yeah. Yes. yeah. It is. It's it really I'm a, farce. I'm a it's teacher. Really farce. Trust Does me. Have a rapper? Farcical. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hopefully it's not wooden because... I can't. Oh, oh, oh. anyway. Uh, so, um, apparently, you guys just like putting things in your mouth. <laughs> so, I was watching. I was watching a, a sheriff or mayor do a press conference, and they he was he was really crapping on this act. He's like, "This is absolutely one hundred percent ridiculous." So, 
First of all, it eliminates cash bail. So is, is the crime rate in New York going up? Uh, a little bit. A little bit. More little murders, bit. more robberies, yeah. all that. You see it every single day, just people being violent to people. All of these people that have done violence to other people, they've got out on cash bail. And if you don't cash know... Cashless bail. Cashless bail. What happens is if you arrest somebody, there is a set bond or bail for various crimes. You commit a second-degree felony, there's a, a a bond for that. You guys remember what it is? What is it? For what? Secondary, Secondary felony. Oh, it, well, it, it's changed. Since you, it you okay. Out. So it, 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 you have a, let's In say... In county, out of county. Let's say $5,000. Let's say $5,000. You have to pay 10% of that with collateral, blah, blah, blah. So, and that it, it keeps you in jail if you can't afford it. Keeps a lot of bad people, evil people, in jail. In jail. But New York has eliminated it. Well, that's not fair. You can't just keep people in they jail. They haven't eliminated it. Yeah, well, they, they, they have essentially, eliminated it. yes. Right. But the big thing is, it has never worked anywhere it has been implemented. No. And the biggest problem is, you know, we appoint judges, we elect judges, depending on how your jurisdiction puts these judges in place, but their hands are actually tied. Mm-hmm. So if you have a a prosecutor who's not strong on crime or crime prevention, I'll let an Alvin Bragg, right? Okay, where you go back to the the guy who sucker punched a guy and put him in a yep. him in the hospital, yeah, and all almost that in a coma, right? I forget yeah. their names. Put him in a coma. Mm-hmm. Okay, but the prosecutor charged him with a. A misdemeanor battery. A misdemeanor battery, mm-hmm. even though it's everyone agreed. Yep. It was a secondary murder attempt. Right. Okay, but you know they, the you system know, is. It, you, what, what, but the I, judge could not postpone. Could not tr- put a bond on it because the right. judge doesn't charge people. Right. The judge is. It has to go with what. And it and it, well, it's, it's a it's a whole right it's a whole about, system yeah. of things. The, you've yeah. got the prosecutors, you've got the legislature, all just fucking it all up, in my opinion. So, um, so to go on with that, so if you are arrested for these crimes, you do not have to put a pay a bond to get. You just come in, go out. Um, robbery? Are you shitting me? No. Um, vehicular invasion, carjacking, uh, DUI, causing death. Second degree murder. Uh, J.B. Pritzker says no. You do have to ca- you get cash bond for. But Senator. that's not what the law says. I, I he he says he begs to differ. Oh yeah, he say. he says that's because he's a politician. He, well, he, yeah, he's, he, he can't he, change he's the law. Governor of Illinois. But yeah. He kidnapping. Can't change the law. Kidnapping. Drug induced homicide. Which you know, when I was a detective, we were not charging people with with um, if you sold. Somebody right. dope and they died. I, I charged one and it was like, oh, well, we can't do that. They'd make it. Anyway, that's changed. Um, threats of public official, aggravated fleeing and eluding. Um, also, if you're on electronic monitoring. 48 hours. 48 hours. You can, you can evade the electronic monitoring for two days. Two days. Yeah. Before so they cut, have to come get you. You can, you can cut off your ankle monitor. And be gone for two days before law enforcement is even authorized to go look for you. The, 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 mayor, the mayor put it this way. He says, you could almost drive to Alaska before cops wow, are, are coming to get you. Um, In the county we worked out, if they went out of their zone and the alert went off to the office that was monitoring it, Dude, they put a bolo out. We were all over them like wide on rice. There, there was, was a case, case in Orlando, a Bessman Oglefor, and he had done a, a, a home invasion in Orlando, and he was on release, ankle monitor, the whole nine yards, and he left and murdered the witness that was against him. And they never mo- they never checked. They, 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 it, it went off, and they didn't, didn't do anything. anything. They, they dropped, dropped the ball. It was just a whole absolute mess. mess. So, so, yeah, and, and he was gone, gone like an hour. So, so 48 hours, you can't even investigate after 48 hours. What about TV? 
Oh, oh right, right. Exactly. exactly. Domestic violence. Oh, my God. 48, 48 hours. hours. Jeez. You know, what can you do in that? You can murder your, your entire family and take, take off to yeah, you know, halfway across the country. country. So, so get, get this. this. Officers will no longer be able to remove trespassers from your residence or your business. Somebody lives, you have a little, yeah, LT, you have a little shed in your backyard. John comes and says, you know what, I'm going to live in uh, uh, LT's back in his shed. You call the police, and he's like, well, oh, here's a ticket, John. They cannot remove him from your shed. Uh, yeah, and, and there's just a whole bunch of other things. There's a lot of law enforcement um, training issues and all this kind of stuff that's just involved in this. And it just, I think these people's brains are freaking broken. They, they are trying to say that the incarceration of offenders is not, not fair, fair to, to the, the offenders. offenders. Well, what, what the, the hell, hell about, about the victims? victims? Victim, again, victims have no rights. Right. right. The, the victims, victims are losing their rights here, and, and I just don't get it. You, people, people make choices in life. Why, why are we coddling, coddling the people that, that made these choices? choices? So all of you that live there or in that area, I really think you ought to think about moving to another location. And if you're thinking about moving, let me just mention one of our sponsors, a couple of our sponsors here. We have Kristen and Tom Clem Realtors. That's even better than mine. Through Exit Advantage oh my Realty. God, that was awesome, LT. We have ready, Sorry. if you're ready to cash out, we have Clem and Company Property Investments. And once you get here, if you've got a whole bunch of junk and you need it moved so that you can throw your stuff above and get your car in there and your big tractor lawnmower or whatever you need, because down here we have grass, we don't have, you know, freaking concrete jungle as bad. Um, a rack above, portable overhead garage storage. These guys are amazing. Please look down below at all of our sponsors and all of their information and visit their websites. Give them a call if you're ready to make a move, buy or sell some property, and or you need some help with your garage storage. If you are finally moved in and you're celebrating, you can get a cigar from Daytona Cigar Club. Absolutely. Who was is, who is helping us out with some, gars, some cigars this week. I'm hoping that I don't have to give any of these to you guys at the end of the uh, football season. Um, uh, oh, so you're going to get three cigars and give them to us. Yes. Way to settle. So final thoughts, Camille. Um, it's going to get worse before it gets better. And how bad? Very. It's going to get really bad. Because this, does, this law doesn't even take effect until January of next year. It's going to be the okay corral in this freaking place. Man, Pe and, and the thing is, and, and another thing, Illinois... Illinois. They, I'm sorry, Illinois. They have the one of the most restrictive gun laws in the country. So if you're a law-abiding citizen, you can't even get a gun to protect yourself from these scumbags. It's it's unbelievable. John, final thoughts on that? Um, if you do move using one of our sponsors, don't vote the same people in that you voted for in Chicago. Yeah, don't come oh to Florida God. if you're going to bring your politics. We have got to vote those people out. Yeah, unbelievable. Okay, because... They are they are the problem. They're passing laws because you know they're they're passing a law to do to take away the authority at least of a judge to make a proper decision. The judge always has the authority to release someone on recognizance or something of that mm -hmm. nature. Okay, but now this is actually the the judges are not allowed. Yeah. By this is this is a, this is an this is absolute ridiculous. travesty of justice, and it's going to get so bad in that entire area that is affected by this law when it takes effect that I I can see the crime rate probably tripling from what it is right now. It, it's going to be unbelievable, and it's a damn shame because it's a beautiful city. It could be a really wonderful place to live, mm -hmm. you know, and, and raise a family. And I've driven else, through Southern Illinois. It's beautiful. That's where I was born in Southern yeah. Illinois, and it's gorgeous. I mean, yeah. there's nothing like up there, you know. But Illinois, Illinois. Um, <laughs> and and the, and the thing is, this is not just Illinois. Other legislatures are going to bring it to other states oh, yeah. if you allow it. If okay. you allow, it, and that's the big thing. Well, listen, no matter what laws or whatever they have, just remember, sur at surviving the badge, we, we still, still got, got your six. Go Giants.
Shut up, John. Okay. Guys. No. Dubber. Yeah.